Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today we are looking at the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 2. <laughs> Let's get into it. In a previous video, I had uh, covered how I was having a recurring problem with my original Smart Home Panel for my single phase circuits. Uh, long story short, the ultimate solution was to replace the, that Smart Home Panel with the Smart Home Panel 2 and ship it back to EcoFlow for in diagnostics to try to figure out what was going on with it. Still hoping to learn more about that and what, what uh, was going on with it. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to dig into the Smart Home Panel 2 and do a little comparison, if you will, between uh, the original Smart Home Panel and the Smart Home Panel 2. Here we have the Smart Home Panel 2. And of course, over here is the Smart Home, well, the original Smart Home Panel. This is set up specifically for uh, my split face circuit. So my air conditioner, my dryer, cooktop. Um, I feel like I'm missing one, but hmm. anyway, uh, the, kind of the heavy intensive units. So that's still running through the original home panel and all of my single phase units are running on the smart home panel too. All right, visually, all right, let's just talk about this for a second. Visually, this is beautiful. Um, you've got like a piano gloss reflective surface here with the EcoFlow uh, logo right here. Absolutely beautiful. Fantastic looking, actually. Also, the entire thing is made of metal. Um, it's very solid. You've got these nice dual hinges here. Um, so just here closely, you've got these nice heavy-duty dual hinges. Here, it's just much more solid feeling. All of this, again, is metal. This is metal. And then it's got a very firm, you grab here, whoops, here, and it pops open. And look at that. That is, that is just gorgeous. Again, all metal. Um, this just looks like a US circuit panel. Um, this is fantastic. Inside, the biggest difference versus the original smart home panel is these are all circuit breakers, just like you would have in your main panel. In fact, these circuit breakers are the <laughs> panels that was in my, or the breakers that were in my main panel. When the electrician installed this, he just took all of those out of the main panel, installed dummies, and put them over here. So this is, in my opinion, a major leap forward. It's very, very cool. Um, and, and now if I want to turn off a circuit, I just come here to this panel and hit the breakers on these. Other really cool thing is that you can knock this out and you can have this set up for a generator. This is a, um, uh, I'm going to call it a kill switch. That's not the right term, but basically you can swap it off so that you ensure there's no back feeding to the grid and you can plug in your generator through an outlet, um, or an inlet and power your, your house with a generator in addition to, or separate from the Delta uh, system that, are, that you have connected to the smart home panel. Okay, so one thing I will point out here that I'm a little disappointed in, if you counted them up, there's 12 circuits that you can put in this board, but there's plenty of space. And if you open this up and look inside, there's plenty of room inside the board. I don't understand at all why EcoFood didn't make this a 20. Um, or, or more uh, panel, because if they had, if it was 20, I could have condensed both of my um, panels into a single smart home panel too, which would be very useful to me. At 12, I could not quite condense both my split phase and my single phase uh, circuits into a single thing. So 12 is too small, and, and again, there's plenty of room. So missed opportunity there, I gotta call it out. Really would have liked to seen 20, uh, 20 slots here. Just switching over for a second. Here's my main uh, main panel, and you can see this is what uh, you know when we installed this. The electrician just took out all these breakers, put in these dummies, dummy covers, and moved them all over to the smart home panel too. Very cool. Also, we swapped this out for a hundred amp um, breaker because this is a much higher powered. Um, Unit the the other smart the original smart home panel is only a 30 amp whereas in the the new smart home panel 2 can go up to a hundred amp 
In contrast, here's the original smart home panel, um, which is still, I, I'm very pleased with it. I, other than the, the odd problem I was having with my single face um, tripping all the time, uh, the, the original panel still works really, really well. But in terms of quality of construction, it doesn't quite measure up. So the side is all metal, which is should be, but this front cover and this door is all plastic which works, but it doesn't necessarily convey the same sense of quality and ruggedness that the new smart home panel does. Also, all of these circuits are, of course, digital um, you know, buttons, and inside of here, I've opened them up before, there's these relays inside that are very proprietary, only works with a system, and so uh, contrast that to the smart home panel 2 where you use an actual circuit breakers, well, it's just, it just makes sense, right? The big difference between the Smart Home Panel 2, besides the things I've already mentioned, is that you actually have three ports that you can power it up. So you can connect uh, an interesting array of options. Obviously, this is a, a native fit with the Delta Pro Ultra, um, where you could plug in three Ultras to this. Or in, you can do like what I've done here, is I have two original Delta Pros connected with a voltage hub in one port. You could also do the Delta Pro 3 uh, and put two of those in with the uh, with one of these ports. So you can get a lot of power production coming in to this to this panel. With uh, three ultras, in theory, you could hook um, almost 14 uh, kilowatts of of input uh, solar input and route it through this panel. All right. So here is my two Delta Pros that I have hooked up. They're both powered right now. Um, one's already fully charged, so it's not really drawing much in terms of uh, solar input. The other one is, is, is cranking right along at, at a full 1600. They are connected to this dual voltage hub here. Both of them are connected to these cables on the side. And then this big cable wraps up and goes into the smart home panel. Um, and that's what's powering all of the single phase circuits in my house right now. Okay, so I covered some of the physical differences between the two and the one, and a lot of the differences um, are, you know, pretty obvious. You can see it's, it's much bigger. The, the fit and finish is just, just another level. Um, you got three inputs versus the two on the original panel, and, and honestly, you can go up to 100 amp on the, on the two versus 30 amp on the, on the one. So in a lot of ways, pretty much every way, is a massive leap forward. The, the two also uses standard, at least what I would call here in the US, standard circuit breakers um, rather than the proprietary relays. So just really, really a huge step forward. I, I would say evolutionary, but it almost feels revolutionary in some ways compared to the original smart home panel. Now, that said, some of the biggest differences, or maybe not the biggest, but some of the things that you will notice are not just the physical appearance of the panel, but it's going to be the difference in the app. So I'll show that now. All right, so I'm going to pull up the app here. Still kind of the standard EcoFlow uh, original home screen. The difference is I've added the smart home panel. I have a, a different icon. It definitely reflects the look of the smart home panel 2 versus my 240 volt panel here. Um, otherwise, my Delta Pros all look kind of the same as they did before. But when I click on the smart home panel 2, I get a, a completely different interface here. Um, that I, Honestly, I like this better. I think it's quite, quite good. Um, so the first thing I can see that power is flowing from the battery to the home. We're getting nothing from the grid. You can also click here to see a little more detail of your pros showing what your combined um, you know, input is here. So I think this is, this is really cool. I like this view. This is very, very clear to me. And then of course I have two open uh, AC2 and AC3 that I could even provide more input if I wanted to. You can also switch over here to the circuits to see <clears throat> what's drawing uh, you know, power currently in your house. You can see I've got some of them labeled, not all of them. I need to go through and finish that. But And then, um, of course, you can see your home energy usage here by day. Let's go by week, which is pretty cool. So you can see that I'm getting, um, you know, a, a good portion of my power from battery, but also still taking a lot from grid. Um, you know, this Thursday will balance out here in a bit, I'm sure. 
and then of course you can see obviously grid or you can do home or battery you can switch through here and see essentially that same data is presented in different ways also you can see total consumption on the circuits which is kind of useful as well if i had a generator hooked up i have this generator tab which would be interesting to see as well and of course i have a battery specific a lot of this data is is the same it's just in different ways um there's some pretty cool stuff here with the uh, electricity rate and unfortunately it's not available in my area but you can go in and set um set your provider and everything um it what's odd is so if i go through here and i set for iowa i find my provider um, which is listed they have so many it's awesome so here's mid-american energy that's mine select my plan um, I have residential service. I do not have time of use service, although I might eventually do that. And um, term of plan, I, I think it is permanent. Let's see. Yeah, plan is currently not supported. So unfortunately, even though it looks like they've got it, they do not. Um, the only other thing I, just, I could try is changing this. So something like that. Mm. Oops, okay. Oh. Let's try, let's try that and see if it changes. I feel like it's not going yeah. So unfortunately, I can't take advantage of this yet. Maybe over time they will expand this and I'll be able to do that, which would, I think, give me some interesting insight into cost that I don't currently have. Um, but unfortunately, that's not working. The other big difference here is in your settings. Um, so you can, there's some cool stuff here where you can set circuit priorities, you like your, your must-have circuits. You can have a storm guard, which basically, it'll be just like what, it, what you think it would say, is that when a storm's coming, it goes ahead and makes sure that your batteries are fully, you know, charged up and ready. And then if it causes an outage, you can obviously draw off of that. I don't really have that, but um, depending on where you live, that might be an important setting. Um, you could do savings oriented if we actually did have the electricity working, um, the rates working, that could obviously help there. You've got your charging limits, your AC charging power, etc., EPS mode, all those good things. And it looks like I do need to do a firmware update. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, the home settings, let's see, is this, no, that's not what I was looking for. There is a, what do I want, to, uh, somewhere around here. I guess, thought it was in here. Operating mode, yes. So this was confusing, but it took me and it took me a while to figure out. Um, on the old smart home panel, there was just a you know you you do your scheduled task. You could turn on uh, circuits at a certain time. You could recharge at a time. Well, by default, that's not the setting. You have to come in here and find the scheduled task. And so that's what I did. I put in my uh, my scheduled task. But you have a couple options here where it's self powered. You could turn it on to that and it unfortunately it doesn't really tell me a lot about it um and i i wasn't confident enough in how this mode worked that i it seemed like it wasn't using the delta pros when i wanted it to be used so that's why i just went over to the scheduled task because it did not seem to give me what i needed you also have a time of use option which again if you had rates um you could this would be useful um, so I, I don't have a time of uh, use plan with my provider, but if I did, I think this would be a very helpful option. Okay, so <laughs> that's kind of it in a, in a quick nutshell. Uh, I guess, how's it working? Well, so far it's been working flawlessly. Fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with how it's worked so far. That said, it's been two weeks. So <laughs> I was very pleased with how the original smart home panel was working for me. Um, before it developed this very odd behavior. So I, I do reserve the right to see how this panel continues to work for me. And if something happens, I'll definitely be the first to share it with you. But mostly I can say it's a great panel. And in fact, I really, really wish it had more circuits in it because uh, I would have loved to just condensed everything into that single, single panel. Um, my house, my house is a hundred amp service house. So the hundred amps of the smart home panel two is a perfect pairing. Uh, I don't need more than that. Uh, if you have a 200 amp, uh, service house, like most new, new construction in America, then you probably would need two of the smart home panel twos. Um, so 
bottom line is it's working great. I love it. I think it's a fantastic panel. It is night and it's a significant step forward. The original panel, there's nothing, I don't have anything wrong or bad to say about it. It's just this panel is much better. It's more well designed. Um, clearly they had some lessons learned along the way. And so if you're thinking of buying a panel and you're thinking, well, maybe I should go with the original panel or the, or the, the SHP two, you definitely should go for the SHP two. It's worth it. It's that there's enough advantages that I would say, um, go ahead and put your money here because I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think you'll be happier in the long run. Now, if you find a really good deal on a smart home, original smart home panel, and you're like, you know, man, I can save a ton of money going with this. Well, that maybe that makes sense. Cause there's, again, it works really well. I'm still running it for my split phase uh, circuits with no problem. So, and, and I do think the issue I was experiencing is pretty unique. I don't think it's widespread. So um, I think there's a good chance you'll be okay. Um, but if you were trying to decide between the two and the price is not too much different, definitely go for the, the, the Gen 2. It's, it's a big improvement. Okay, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, there's probably more that I'll, I'll, I'll try to bring out over the next few months as I keep working with this panel, but bottom line, I'm very impressed. I'm pleased with it so far. I love the capabilities. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about how can I hook up more power to it? Um, <laughs> I'm, you know, to just continue to evolve my home journey, because you can see I don't, quite have enough to cover all of my uh, single phase activity uh, in the house, particularly this time of year when we start hitting fall and winter, we're not getting as much sun. Um, so I, I need to find a, a better solution to, to cover that. My goal is to get to 100%. I'm not there yet, but um, you know, hope springs eternal. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.